Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor. It's time for another theory quickie. Here's a question from the FAA database. If a standard rate turn is maintained, how much time would be required to turn left from a heading of 090 degrees to a heading of 300 degrees? A. 30 seconds B. 50 seconds or C. 40 seconds. So for this one we're going to be making use of an instrument called the tone coordinator. You'll see here at the bottom of the instrument it says 2 minutes. That means that when the wing is against this left or right mark and the ball's in the middle, which is always the best place for balls, that will take 2 minutes to complete a 360 degree turn. So in this case, if we were to turn left all the way back round to an east heading, that would mean it would take 2 minutes. I'm also going to set the true airspeed scale on the airspeed indicator. I'm going to do that by taking the outside air temperature on the left hand side here and placing it against the pressure altitude on the black and white scale on the instrument here. Then at the bottom of the instrument on the true airspeed scale, I can read my true airspeed. The reason for which will become apparent later. So this 2 minute rate for 360 degrees is what we call a standard rate turn. That is a normal rate of turn when flying on instrument flight rules. And if we take the 360 degrees and divide it by the 120 seconds in 2 minutes, we can see that each time 1 second passes, we're passing through 3 degrees in a standard rate turn. So let's start the turn, start timing, and do some calculations as we're going round. So if every 1 second we're passing through 3 degrees, then every 10 seconds we must be passing through 30 degrees. And the difference between 090 and 330 is the 90 degrees it takes to turn left from east to north, plus an additional 60 degrees, which is the difference between 360 and 300. So this is a total of 150 degrees, or 5 lots of 30 degree increments, each taking a total of 10 seconds to pass through at a standard rate. We're therefore expecting the turn to take 50 seconds. In addition to the turn coordinator, we can confirm the standard rate turn by taking the true airspeed, which is where we set the scale on the airspeed indicator earlier, dividing it by 10 and adding 7. So in this case, 100 divided by 10 plus 7 is 17 degrees, which is approximately the angular bank that we're maintaining. And you'll see here we're just rolling out onto a 300 heading and it's taken about 50 seconds to get there. So the answer to the question if a standard rate turn is maintained how much time would be required to turn left from a heading of 090 degrees to a heading of 300 degrees is B. 50 seconds.